all the way until right now. And the truth is, I am going to stop being the savior. I'm going to stop interfering in fights that I didn't start in the first place. I've been doing it for years, man. And between my own business, everyone else's business, my responsibility outside the ring, I'm showing up and fighting at less than 100%, and I'm done with it. And as you might have noticed the past few weeks when I've not been saving the day, nobody's been stepping up. So as much as y'all want to run your mouth, you're a bunch of hypocrites. I mean, except Cody, but we did talk about that last week. He's only cleaning up his own mess. It's all to do with ego. Sometimes I feel like I'm in the Cody verse where, you know, he just does what he wants, says what he wants. I don't know, man. Here's the deal. Forgiveness when it comes to Jey Uso, it's weakness, not strength. And another thing. Awesome! I came to the That's gonna go over real well. Well, Drew, I guess that makes me really strong because I don't forgive you for what you did to me last week on Ms. TV. I don't forgive you for canceling this week's edition of Ms. TV. I gave you an open platform to talk about whatever you wanted last week, and you just sat there. So what did I do out of the goodness of my heart? I told your story and I did a very good job of it. And you had the audacity to- Shut up, miss. <laughs> you were warned not to come out here. So I suggest you bugger off and I'm gonna finish what I was saying. You've got to stand up for yourself because no one else is gonna do it for you. I stood up for you. I was looking out for you, and what did you do? You told me to shut up, just like you told me to shut up two seconds ago. Last week, you had 10,000 people chanting, shut up, Mitz. You think you're justified, don't you? You think you're edgy, you're taking a stand. Well, in that case, why don't you embrace who you really are? Shut up, miss. Let me get this right. You want me to be the bad guy, yeah? You want me to go attack Seth Rollins backstage? I know he's got a bad back. Beat him down, drag him to the ring, take the title off him. Maybe screw Jey Uso over at Fastlane. Is that what you want? No, that's not how I operate. I rack up the wins. I earn the opportunity. I earn the title shot. That's the kind of man I am. And since you're in the ring with me right now, I feel it like getting another W. So how about you and I fight unless those balls are still tiny? You want a match? Right here, right now. Do you all want a match right here, right now? We are not dressed for a match. I am in a suit, you're in a skirt. <laughs> oh boy. And you don't think I know what you're doing? Painting yourself as the hero, pandering to this audience because maybe, just maybe, deep down, you feel bad for what you've done the past couple weeks. But in reality, you're self absorbed. Right now, you're good, Drew. But if someone gets beaten down in the next hour, you'll be bad, Drew. The real Drew. You know, I was wrong about you. You're not the Batman of WWE, you're Two Face. You play both sides and pick a side whichever benefits Drew. I suggest you really shut up, miss. I 
don't shut up, I grow up, and when I look at you, I throw up. <laughs> Man, you're a bloody idiot. And you are not worth my time. Well, guess what? Time's up. It's time to fight. Whoa, 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 wait a second. Wait a second. Wait, what, what, keep your skirt on. Hold on. Look. Mama Miz always taught me that a bigger man will walk away from a fight. So instead of playing the hero, I'll be the hero and walk away. Oh, not wise, not wise, Miz, from behind, went after McIntyre with a mic in hand. Since Miz has just made his situation a whole lot worse. And Miz going right after McIntyre, and Drew with driving Miz into the corner. Should have bugged it up while you had the chance, Miz. And now officials coming into the ring to try to separate these two men. McIntyre's ticked off. Miz escaping. This just ran his mouth again and paid for it.